Whatever comes to your uh, time in the Army, what, what was your uh, position in there, you said? I was a platoon sergeant. I retired as a platoon sergeant. But, you know, I, I was an IED detective. What I did is I looked for bombs, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I was one of those guys. Dang. <laughs> I was dude. an IED hunter. Whoa, yeah. what was that like? It was a blast, man. <laughs> uh, and obviously, I was pretty good at my job. I still got all my yeah. fingers and toes. But uh, wow. what yeah, man, made was, you go that route? That's uh, dude. That's, well, I didn't start that route. I started. I actually, when I first went in, I was actually a reconnaissance guy. So, do, do they tell scout. you like what you're going to be doing, no, or, or do you sign up for a I job like for that. that? I signed up for that. What made you sign up for it? Sound fun, man. Dude, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah, how, how many uh, bombs do you think you did? Oh, God. A couple hundred. Wow. Yeah. What was the first one like? What was your mindset like? Do you remember? <sighs> no, honestly, I don't. I remember the first time I actually got blown up by one, though. What's that like? That sucked. <laughs> How well does that arm? Because I oh, what works, was that man. one. Oh yeah, what it was the one well. movie Hurt Locker. Yeah, yeah. I watched that movie. Yeah. That was wild. Does it, it, it does, hurts. How well does that work? It, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. It works. The equipment works. The equipment will save you, no doubt about it. The equipment will save you. I mean, we have the best equipment at that time when I was over there. My last my, my last deployment, we had the best equipment on the planet, man. I mean, if we didn't, I would honestly I wouldn't be here. I got blown up like three times. Wow. Yeah. That's on my last crazy. deployment, I got hit like three times. So, you know, when I had soldiers in mind, they got hit more than that even. Like one of my guys got hit five times. Dang, man. Yeah. And, so, and he's good? Yeah, as good as good can be. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> you know, but yeah, he's doing fine. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it was. It, here's the thing, though, man. It was our job. So you don't think about it. You know, it's just like coming here. You, I know you may not, it's hard probably for you to grasp that but really it's our job we get up and that's what we do it's not we don't look at it like you might look at it you may look at it like man they're, this is kind of crazy but we didn't we don't look at it like that we look at it as that's my job i gotta go ahead and find these moms and stuff so they don't kill my brothers and sisters and and fellow coalition soldiers so that's what you do you get up you put your body armor on you get in your vehicles and you go find some bombs how do you know where the bombs are? Is you just it get intel lucky. or you just get no, lucky? No, a lot of times you just get lucky, man. You either hit wow. it yourself and you blow one of your vehicles up or you find it and you dig it up and you blow it up. Wow. It's that simple. Was a vehicle, were you ever in a vehicle situation? Oh, yeah. I've been blown up three times in a vehicle. Dang. <laughs> yeah. That, well, That's actually what, how this happened. Which part? There? My bicep shoulder. I've had bicep shoulder dislocated my shoulder, broke my arm, everything. Wow. Man. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, people will watch a movie like Hurt Locker, like myself, and you know that's that's a lot of that stuff's uh, Hollywood, man. It's it's not really. There's a lot of stuff I've watched a little bit. I haven't watched the whole movie. I just I'm not. I don't watch that kind of stuff. Yeah, but I've watched a little bit of it just because I've had people tell me you need to watch it. Da, 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 da. And some of the stuff I've seen it's it's, it's Hollywood. It's, uh, that's not re the reality over there. Yeah. It's not really what. It, it's not how it is. My dad's the same way with military yeah. movies. He don't watch. Yeah, it's like they're getting everything wrong. Yeah, they, and they do. They do. It's Hollywood. You know, they're just trying to sell movies, man. That's it. So, so like movies. it's a relatively, you know, safe job. Yeah, be, I mean, it's, it's as safe as it can be. I mean, it is, it is a very dangerous job. But they, we have safety measures that we can use to make it as safe as we can. How, how do you? What's the training like it's for intense. something like that? It's intense, man. Do you like like how you know a, a police officer will get shot or get tased during yeah. their training? Is there no, a we, part we where you no, have to? We, no, there's nothing like no mock IED. Well, there's mock IED, IED explosions when you're going through different types of lanes trainings and things like that. But it's not to that. You can't really anybody that's ever been tell you this. Train ups are train ups, right? Mm -hmm. They're trying to get you ready, but there's no, there's nothing that they can do to really simulate what real combat's like. Yeah, they just can't. I mean, because it's it is what it is. I mean, there's no simulating that. I mean, they can't. You can't get that close because you can't get those raw emotions and stuff that actually happens in live combat. You can't. That no matter what you do, you can't create that or recreate that. That those are emotions that happen in that time because of the chaos that's going on at that time. Wow. You can't re you there's nothing you can do to to prepare anyone for that. That's just each individual soldier has to 
experience that, process that, and deal with that how he does, how, whatever way he does. How did you keep a level head whenever you were in a combat zone? Um, did you just kind of just, just the, fo- the focus yeah, I was, was just that? focused, man. I actually um, anybody that, that's ever been over there with me, that you probably you know you may talk to, will tell you that I was calm, I was relaxed in that environment. You have to be. Yeah, because if you don't, that's you, people die because – I'm going to tell you what gets a lot, of, a lot of guys killed is the lack of making a decision because people freeze up and they can't make a decision. Hmm. So if you don't, people will die. I used to tell, I used to go around and talk to like future officers when I taught OTC after I got back. Uh, I'd go talk to future officers and stuff like that, and they'd be like, you know, that's one of the questions. Well, you know, what's one of your biggest takeaways? Said, make a decision, good, bad, or whatever. doesn't matter. You have to make a decision, and whatever decision you make, you live with it, the consequences of it. Wow. Because – the the not making a decision will cost more lives than making a decision. Even if it's the wrong decision to make, nine times out of ten, the wrong decision is better than no decision. That's true, man. Now you got to keep going. You have to, you know. Um, but that's, you know, that's just the reality of that. That's that's the reality of boots on the ground and combat. You know, 